you're here in Falkenberg, first round of the Next Gen Cup season. Awesome day today, got to do a track walk just now. It's quite the layout, it's pretty much all right-hand corners, really fast, only about two braking zones. So it's gonna be quite the challenge when it comes to race day on Sunday. We are in the shunt car once again, just like testing, so hopefully we can bring them to the top step of the podium. That's a wrap on practice. It felt really good to get some laps in and start to understand this track. Now we've got a few hours, so I get to enjoy the awesome paddock set up here, play some ping pong and set some laps in the sim. Quali up next. I feel the way I always feel when it's quality. Like I can't decide if I need to vomit or poop my pants. But it's gonna be fine. <laughs> That's a wrap up for today. We had a practice session in the morning, only 20 minutes to learn. Falkenberg, very confidence based circuit, so quite the challenge for sure. Jumped into qualifying. Got in a decent lap in the beginning and then had a purple for last sector, but messed up the last corner, missing out by only two tenths on the top three. So a little bit disappointing, but excited for tomorrow where we get to start fifth on the grid, hopefully make up some spots into the first corner and we'll see how uh, people stack up once we start getting into some racing, a little bit longer sessions, more long run pace and uh, figure out our push to pass of where we're gonna use that strategically. And we're on your way for the first ever Next Gen Cup race. There is Ellis Pietje on the back of him is Gronforce now, who's under pressure as well. This is right, this is really tight though. You can see how much time you lose once you start fighting. Through Ellis Pietje around the outside, it's a bit of contact between the two. Ellis Pietje is on the back of him is Gronforce and he's using push to pass, you can clearly see that. Goes past him immediately, wasting no time at all. Him into down at the turn one, Ellis out of stop under Tanner from Ellis Piencia. Takes everyone by surprise by using push to pass on the restart. The switch back though of Ellis Piencia. Better run out of the corner. The both touch. So wrap up of the first race. Really, really close. Pretty much top four, all locked into a really close battle the whole way. Had some good moves myself. Just one lap too little to get it done. But I think considering safety car, Everything, we did a pretty good job considering it's our first ever race here. Some of these kids come here all the time. So pretty solid run. See how the reverse grid goes. We'll start fourth. So uh, yeah, just wait and see how uh, the grid stacks up once we got to move through some traffic. And I think it's going to make it really interesting. It's lights out, and away we go for the second race here at Valkenbeck.
It is Ellis Pietzia who's got past Enzo Holman, that exact from Enzo Holman, had him vulnerable though to Ellis Pietzia who's looking behind him. Uh, that has put Ellis Pietzia up to B2. The American was eager to get back on the way after that first race, finishing fourth right there. To the outside though of Alexander Christensen into the last corner. Is he going to make it stick though? This is what he needs. He wants that inside though for the first quarter. Will they use push to pass? We don't really know. And answer, it's a home and it's on the inside. Three wide. Three wide. Contact between Ellis Pietzi and Alexander Christiansen. That inside is powerful going down to the turn three. And he gets it. Ellis Pietzi gets through. Here is the battle though for the lead. Ellis Pietzi is going to try around the outside. Slot back in behind Enzo Holman again. But he's there keeping him modest. You can see though what this does. Because both of those two have been fighting. And he's past Enzo Holman. Uh, we have a new leader. Ellis Piazza, the electric renegade, puts another race victory on his CV, wins race number two at Falkenberg and opens the season with another race win and will probably go home in a top three position in the championship. <laughs> So that is a wrap, we did it. Top step of the podium in the second race, starting fifth, got an excellent start, cleared the traffic early, and then it was just a hunt down to the leader till the very end, got to use our push to pass very strategically, kept the tires cool, kept everything under control, and got to take the win in the last few minutes and just cruised on home, brought home the victory for me, the Shunk crew, all my mechanics that have been working on the car this weekend. Absolutely the best way to end it off and get ready for our German rounds which is gonna be really exciting. I know the track's much better. So couldn't be happier with the way we ended off the weekend. Being on the back foot started this weekend, I think the fact we got to the top step by the end, it was really, really successful.